welcome to analytics with nax in this session we are going to see about what is event handlers in ssis so basically events are a set of uh, actions that happens while running the uh, ssis integration service package like it can be um, running a execute sql task it's not just running before that it has a lot of options like pre execute post execute and uh, whether it's validated or connection string is properly there and after uh, execution success or failure so all these things are set of events so based on certain events you need to trigger something else so that is what we are going to see in this video let's directly jump into a demo if you are new to this channel hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon for the notification we are in uh, ssis now so basically like uh, event handlers there is a tab one two three fourth tab uh, from uh, here after control flow data flow you have event handlers there you can see here uh, for each executable like it it is the entire package name v16 event handlers is the package name either you can set the events and what are the different events available like you as i said before it is post execute pre execute and on progress on query cancel task failed so these are different events when a single task is performing or entire package is performing okay so when uh, what i'm trying to say is so let us see like here from here to here when it reaches there is pre execute task are happening pre execute means before execution you need to trigger something else that is what that event that when that particular event is happening you do something else right so for those purposes you will go for event handlers typically uh, in normal scenario on error is the uh, most frequently used and you might have asked like um, we have already a, in precedence constraints you have uh, like a failure on success on failure you will have one flow right but this is absolutely fine uh, when you have a very limited task when this is failed you trigger this when you this is failed you follow the different path so when it is uh, for a single task if you are not able to do it like you have six tasks for each task you cannot have this failure path right so uh, the entire package either any of this particular task failed you need to simulate something else right in those cases you will go for it see here you have a provision to set at the package level or individual task level you can click on it and then here what event it is then create it here so in this case let us try to uh, create for the entire uh, package for this event handlers like i'm going to create one event handler for this package level click on it then on error on error then go here and it is nothing but it it will have another control flow task basically we, when it happens what needs to be done so you are triggering some other control flow task in this i want to uh, get one data like i want to log this error information for this i already have uh, this log table created let us try to see this uh, table here delete from i already tested it that's why you have one error let's try to delete it let's see what is there in here so you what this log uh, table will contain is like it contains id column automatically incremented and it contains a package name what, what package has failed and what is the error message okay that is what it is this is the table i have created and uh, here i uh, i want to insert Uh, those uh, error messages here right so here uh, this table is stored in uh, ssis demo and uh, the way we need to uh, write is like let us try to write it here so insert into this one and then here i will say select question mark comma question mark because these two values comes from the parameter or the variable i am defining this is the way you need to write insert into this table and question mark question mark 
let's try to get this code over here this is the code see i am choosing oledb that is why i am marking question mark question mark here if i am choosing ario.net the way you pass the parameter is different that will be uh, handled in some other sessions now you can see here uh, when you use oldb use question mark question mark to pass the value so what values it should come it is the parameter so you go here add so similarly the way we create a parameter like um, uh, individual parameters that we create in a variable it, it is used to store temporary values like that system variables are there that stores all this information you can have uh, uh, multiple system variables here system the task name what is the task name what is the version name all these things will be dynamically changing based on the execution so let us try to get that uh, package name okay this system the package name will hold the package name while it is running when it is failed this will be passed to our parameter so this is the parameter name i can choose the data type it is uh, shrink and worker let us try to choose it and parameter name it can be anything you can put zero or a a anything is fine parameter name uh, minus one is a default value and another thing is error message so error description and also this is going to be um, the end worker and let us name it as parameter name one and let us give 500 size also not an issue 500 500 okay this is fine now what this does when the error occurs it will log this uh, data over here error log okay but basically uh, the error log will be stored in the ssis uh, integration service catalog once we deploy it but this is to ensure like for you to understand how the event handler works okay now first time i am going to run without creating any error okay so this will not be triggered and there won't be any entry here let us try to execute it execute it there is no records we have seen it now let us try to run it i don't have any issues here so it has run all the package is successful even you can see here the package is successful and we will go and check here there is no records even this is not triggered right now let us try to simulate some error i will choose uh, early db and say select one instead of select i will desperately do some mistake select one this is typically wrong uh, skill statement so it will throw error now i'm running the package so this has failed the package has failed now you can go and see the event handlers this has run now so it will do the entry over here over here you can see the error message it has captured this package and then got our error message execution query of select one has failed so even you can use uh, the same logic over here when you use this package in some other uh, package over here okay i'm choosing it over here let us try to choose uh, the different connection over here and um, what happened Local variable error description read access. Okay, we need to choose uh, this package name once again because it's uh, uh, being referred from there. And um, package name error message. Right. What I'm trying to say is uh, I'm I'm I want to simulate this error in uh, another package. That is what I'm trying to do it here. System dot error code. why let us try to get this okay so this is not happening here only we need to choose it here we need to copy and paste it from here error log and data flow task i'm going to paste it 
let's try to choose from here this is demo parameter mapping error description there you go see this variable comes in the error log only okay now uh, i want to simulate some error in the v5 package also okay let's try to copy that error code here that is over here this will have a issue i mean select of one and um, here i will say four select of four now when i run v5 now you see again this package failed this has triggered uh, the error log in the another package now you can go and see this particular data let's try to check it select star from this custom and full log what happened now this is in SSIS demo oh my god log error sorry so now you can see uh, this has simulated the different errors in different places like in this package this has failed and this package this is the error message whatever error message it can be failed due to the data type or it can be anything right so those things are captured here so this is the end objective of your uh, event handlers based on different events that happens it will trigger this particular task in this you can have another control flow task if you like this video hit the thumbs up button and comment below for your queries do remember that data is your asset